New tonight, Californians can now toss out those traditional license plates and drive in a new high tech way. Drivers can now buy those digital license plates for their car, but is getting one for your wheels worth it? CBS 13's Adrian Moore is getting answers tonight from the DMV. Adrian. Yeah, guys, let's talk about the price tag right out of the gate here. The cheapest option is 215 bucks a year with a four year agreement. The DMV argues these plates are worth it because their purpose goes well beyond just a traditional license plate. It's a big change. We're no longer your father's DMV. The DMV making metal license plates obsolete ushering in a new digital way to display a key piece of your car's identity. It is a product of convenience and I'm all about giving people choice here in the state of California. Assembly member Lori Wilson co-authored the bill passed by the state, allowing for all 40 million drivers to use the tablet-like plate that can also show emergency messages like Amber Alerts and have built-in tracking technology to help law enforcement. If a vehicle is stolen, uh, we can splash on that plate as a, a signal that uh, that vehicle is stolen. But that raises privacy questions. So we asked, could these be wrongfully tracked or even hacked? Assemblymember Wilson says tracking features can be disabled. Anytime that, um, our, you know, our CHP, or, or we feel like safety is a concern in terms of license things being altered in any kind of way, um, they can pull that back and make sure so that is taken care of before it's continued use. The plates have two models, battery powered and wired. And because of that, there's no need to step foot inside a DMV to renew your registration. Once you pay those registration fees, we can go ahead and have that reflected on the plate immediately. It can be displayed on the, on the vehicle right away. Californians driving into the 21st century by tricking out their rides with some new technology. Right now, there is only one company making these digital plates, and that is a company called Reviver, which, by the way, is based in Granite Bay. According to its website, drivers can choose to install the plates themselves, or they could pay them to do it for another 150 bucks.